crown royals buck that I've hunted the last few years. And he's kind of made it by default because every year he breaks his coins up and then he gets taken off our hit list. This year, all right, this buck, this is my number one buck. Let's do whatever we can to shoot him. lightly raining right now it's november 5th and we got out here plenty early and i think that once this rain stops it's going to be really good it's like we should be hitting the time of the red moon just perfectly out here so crown royal is on my hit list this year and i've had a number of close encounters so close in fact that it is absolutely mind-boggling that i haven't shot him
I love you. Oh, okay. I will see you in a few hours. Thank you. All right, ready to rumble. Saw my buck last night. Crazily enough, he came out at 47 yards and just never stopped. Kept on going. Today, if he's at 47 yards, I think I'm going to be letting one fly. Hi, you guys. They're like, he's really nice. I'm like, that's a rooster? water tank right here it's an amazing grains plot even though it didn't come up super crazy it's super super dry but we got one of the wildlife researchers <laughs> rope right there it's like basically you have everything you could possibly want in this little setup right here i feel like we're gonna have to be like pretty much prepared because honestly i don't actually know where this buck comes out there's like three trails that he could actually come out on so i'm probably just gonna hold my bow most of the night and
from at the water tank and then he ran out that way and then I came to full draw and then he turned and looked at me for like the longest time and I couldn't put my bow down. So then when he finally turned, I shot and it might be a tad low, but I think it's in there. But it's like, that is the buck that I've been hunting for a couple of years and he is awesome. Oh my gosh. Do you think that's too low? Let's talk about the day you hit him. Just kind of go through that experience, if you don't mind. I thought you said you'd do anything for your producers. All right, well, bringing it back to early season, and actually, Crown Royal is a buck that I've hunted the last few years, and he's kind of made it by default, because every year he breaks his points up, and then he gets taken off our hit list. And so this year was obviously another year that it's like, all right, this buck, this is my number one buck. Let's do whatever we can to shoot him. We put a grizzly water tank out here. We planted a little amazing grains field. Obviously we got a standing corn field right here. And I hit him and it was either going to be one of those things that either he was going to be dead or he was going to be totally fine. Luck was not on my side. I mean, maybe luck was on my side, I don't know, you can look at it both ways, but he actually was totally fine. I got very little penetration, and, and in hindsight, I should have waited till his leg was at least forward, but you know, you think you don't have a lot of time, but I probably had a little bit more time than I thought, but like I said, the way he reacted at that water tank, you just like, oh my gosh, you better shoot, you know, so I shot, I should have, I don't know, we always have those shoulda, woulda, coulda's, but one inch it probably would have just totally smoked him but he ended up being totally fine we got my camera like a day and a half later and i've been hunting him ever since his spots healed up All right, it is November 2nd. We're actually having our Halloween party tonight, so I'm a little rushed today because yesterday we got out there pretty early and that buck was out there. Crown Royal was literally walking in out of the field. came out way early today. Like I said, left everybody at home getting stuff ready for our November 2nd Halloween party. Maybe it's just a deer party then. But anyways, this should be a perfect night, I would think. It's like perfect wind, it's cold, overcast, and we saw deer on their feet already, so. Man, smoke the den over at the 400.
every year I'm like, <laughs> but I'm not a quitter. So I'm like, okay, is this going to be the end of my hunting career because of a deer? It's like, no, we can't act like that. You just got to get back out there and do your best.